but she said that you were out gallivanting last night with a bevy of young girls. Well, even if you don't believe it, just help her spread that around, will you? Oh, will you please? She said that you're keeping them right here in this house. Well, I wouldn't believe it if I saw it with my own eyes. <laughs> Pauline, Katie. <laughs> this is Mr. Henshaw. Hi. 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 <laughs> Would you like some fruit juice? No, I, I've had my breakfast, dear. Okay. Nice to have met you. Very nice to have met you. <laughs> Thanks for last night. We'll do it again sometime. <laughs> What's the matter? Something wrong, Annie? Uh, no. No, yes, yes, there is. Who, who are those girls? Oh, well, now, Ernie, you know that in the daytime I stuff birds, and at night... What? <laughs> Ernie, these girls are students from our college. They're boarders here. Why, we're lucky we've got kids who want to learn. Let's help them do it. We're not stopping them, John, but we have an investment in our homes. Well, I should think that you've got a bigger investment in your country. Are you accusing me? Hold it, Hurley. John has a point. If he wants to take some kids into his home, let him. Just don't charge him any rent and it'll be okay. That's not the point. These youngsters want to pay. But this ridiculous ordinance won't let them do it in my home or anybody else's. Well, if you think we're going to let our best residential areas be ruined by a bunch of broken down boarding houses, you're crazy. Harry Williams, you haven't changed a bit. I remember when you were a kid, they used to call you Hog it all Harry. And what's more... Hey, control yourself, John. We don't want a libel suit. Uh, there's a motion on the floor. Let's put it to a vote. All those in favor, say aye. Nay? Nay. 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 The motion is rejected. The ordinance stands. I'm sorry, John. But you know what this means. Oh, sure, I know what it means. It means that I've just got to fight a little bit harder. I'm not going to throw these kids out. I'll fight this ordinance even if I have to go to jail for it. That could happen, John. If you insist on defying the oh, law... Oh, now, Mayor, let's not get carried away. Let me assure you, John, they cannot put you in jail. Remember, you have me for a friend. <laughs> when you've got Ernie Henshaw for a friend, you don't need an enemy. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I just would like to thank you for, for having been nice enough to watch the pilot of what we hope will be a long and a very successful series. And since you've borne with us this far, I'm hoping that you'll spare me another couple of minutes to tell you a little of what's behind the series and, and what I hope lies ahead of us. I know it sounds silly, but Edwin, the Edwin that you've been looking at is less than two years old. Which, considering the fact that he's been in the, well, in show business for over 50 years, that about makes him the most remarkable infant prodigy of all time. <laughs> this uh, new Ed Wynn, as they call him, although actually I don't really feel new, just a little remodeled, maybe. It began with Playhouse 90's Requiem for a Heavyweight and then went on to grow in the Great American Hoax and then on Borrowed Time for television and in The Great Man and Marjorie Morningstar and the film I'm now making, The Diary of Anne Frank, for movies, you know. I, of course, deeply, ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I'm deeply grateful to the press and to the public for all the wonderful acclaim and the honors that have been bestowed on me. It wasn't easy to stop the baggy pants, you know, <laughs> and go legitimate overnight. And it's nice to know that the believability of the new Edwin seems to be a welcome substitute for the funny hats of the perfect fool. <laughs> this kind of believability, ladies and gentlemen, uh, spiced with warmth and wisdom and humor, is the quality that you can expect to find week after week in John Beamer, the man I play in the series. <laughs> 